how to increase your chances of success today. Good morning, if you're coming in, give me a hello. If you're on replay, drop a replay below. Most people won't do this, and this is to set your intentions for today. Every morning in our private group, in our kickstart, we do our accountability challenge, where you set your free things today, the free legs of the stool, which underpin the food fitness focus of Fruit Chief Fit, the accountability system that we have. What's your food habit today? What's one thing you're gonna go for? What's your fitness habit? What's one thing you're gonna do for you today? What would be different if you set that? But quite often, we, we're not willing to do it. Most people aren't willing to do that. And I get it, it's hard, it's also scary, because by declaring that, by telling someone else, you actually also write a rule for failure. You could potentially say that if I don't do that now, I'm failing, which is scary. And sometimes it feels better to know that you haven't tried or to know that, well, at least you didn't set it anyway. So if you haven't done it, it doesn't really matter. But what we have to understand in our head is that we big up failure for more than what it actually is. Failure isn't as scary as we think it actually sh should be. It should be scarier, actually. It's a bit like a ghost train. Like every evening with the kids at the moment, for some reason, they love ghost trains, which is bonkers, really. Um, but we watch ghost trains on YouTube. It's part of the bedtime routine. Oh, it sounds ridiculous saying it, but they, they take turns in choosing from YouTube like a ghost train. Um, I had, yes, I know what you're thinking. They have nightmares, they're scared. Like I had thoughts on that. Is this going to impact their sleep? So far, so good. But am I, um, yeah, playing with fire here? But anyway, it's, <laughs> they're, they're ridiculous, right? It's like, they, they always find it quite funny because um, it's so ridiculous. Like should, a ghost train should be scary, but it's just, just a bit tacky, isn't it? Anyway, more on that another day on the ghost train. But my point here is, is failure isn't as scary. It's as good as a ghost train. Like we try and avoid it, avoid it, avoid it. We go through it and actually it's like, oh, that wasn't as scary as I thought. I can do that. I can do that. And guess what? We learn from it. And by setting those intentions, even if you get two out of three correct, Guess what you did two out of three? You know, okay, knowing what I know now, what would I do differently next time? And we're getting the most important thing that's gonna get you the results, which is feedback and data on what's working and what's not. It's what you do every day. You get grades, you go into work, you get feedback on things. You look at stuff in terms of, oh, what's the reviews on that? Like, these are all things, these are feedback. How did you feel doing that? I did this, this is how I felt, okay. Let's adapt this. And you do this in everything in life, really. We go from feedback. But yet, for some reason, because failure, we're not willing to gather the data. The data is what will get you results long-term, transformational results. So let me know. Do you set your intention? If you don't, if you need more accountability, come in for our Kickstart program. We will give you exactly that. So comment below Kickstart. I'll get you the details. Any questions, let me know. And I'll see you soon. Take care.